Local security and health officials want to be prepared to deal with the North American virus if it reaches the island. National Security Minister Guy Mayers says following a meeting with key health and security partners on Tuesday, officials agreed to implement various immediate measures to mitigate the effects of the virus. He says a decision was taken to implement a special protective mechanism at the air and sea ports to limit the spread of the virus by visitors who may be infected. Mayor says those measures are aimed at safeguarding immigration and customs officials who interact with visitors daily. I was assured by uh, Slasper last night after speaking with management that as of today they will start working on getting those what we call cough screens in place to be a barrier between our immigration officers and uh, passengers through the airports. No, the screen is like a, either glass or perspex screens that will be put up so that if um, a passenger who is contaminated with the, with the virus may cough or sneeze while being attended to by an immigration officer, that the, 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 the source of contamination would be reduced. Tourism officials are also monitoring the development of the virus closely. Minister Alan Chastney says officials are taking all precautions to protect St. Lucians from cruise passengers who may be infected. He says tourism officials are working closely with the cruise liners to screen passengers. Chastney says cruise passengers who show signs of the virus will be quarantined. And right now the cruise ships have actually voluntarily withdrawn themselves from Mexico. Um, so that takes a huge burden, but we don't get a lot of cruises down here with passengers um, going to Mexico. Mexico is not included in, in, in any of the itineraries down here that I know of. Um, but clearly you could have Mexicans who've gone to the States to pick up a ship. Um, but we're believing that the ship themselves also are doing pretty substantial amount of work. And would, the risk is huge to them. So I know that there are a lot of precautions that they're taking. Chastney says the Jazz Festival will not be cancelled for fear of the flu reaching her via overseas visitors. An influx of people from all around the world is expected on St. Lucia for the festival. But according to the minister, the Northern American virus does not pose any risk to the Jazz Festival. We don't really get a lot of Mexicans, uh, no Mexicans coming. We have a Mexican band coming. I know that we're working with the Mexican embassy in terms of how we should deal with that. Uh, most of our passengers are coming from the UK, from the US, um, and obviously from the Caribbean. So right now there's no intentions uh, to cancel the festival. Um, we don't believe that we're in any risk at this point. But clearly, uh, if things change, then we'll keep the public advised. But we're certainly not going to put anybody at risk. But right now, um, there doesn't seem to be any cause for alarm. The National Security Minister says officials are working closely with the Ministry of Health which would decide whether the use of masks and gloves are necessary when engaging visitors. On Thursday, cabinet ministers are expected to have a joint meeting with the National Emergency Management Advisory Committee to discuss the island's approach and the latest developments relating to the North American virus. On Wednesday, the U.S. recorded its first death relating to the virus. Shannon LeBon, HDS News, Channel 4.